All right, so Miss Anna is here for taking some staples out from her arm. Uh, same process here. My provider already has seen and uh, confirmed that the staple sutures are ready to come out. As a medical assistant, I'm going to do make sure to do my job the right way. I'm going to observe her arm first, making sure that I have all the appropriate information for my documentation. And right after I'm done with this, ask some questions from my patient, um, review her chart, then I'll get started. So I reviewed her chart and I saw that she had more than what I see on her arm. So I'm going to make sure that I ask the appropriate questions before I get her started. Hi, Miss Anna. So as your chart was saying, there, were, uh, there was more than uh, staples that I see right now. Um, do you remember how many did they put on your arm when you came in? Uh, 15. 15. Okay. Yeah, your child was saying 15 as well, but I see only eight right now. Can you tell me what happened? Um, well, it kind of got itchy and as I was rubbing it, they just fell out. Okay. All right. So have you ever had stipples removed from your arm or sutures? Sorry, I keep saying stipples. Sutures? No. No. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it a little bit and then I'm going to start from the middle and work my way uh, between one and another. It is not going to hurt a lot, but it might hurt a little bit. But my goal in here is to make sure to be as gentle as I can, okay? okay. But if it does hurt you in the middle, in the between, just stop me. Uh, can you tell me if you have any allergies to anything at all? No. No allergies. Perfect. So, um, this alcohol wipe is going to be a little cold. So, I'm going to start from the middle. Work my way out, making sure to clean. And I have my stuff ready here. A lot of times suture kits come in one, but I have different ones in here. So I'm just gonna open them up and have them ready. Uh, this is not a stir it so because I don't have to, this is not an open wound, um, but I wanna make sure to keep my patients as safe as I can. In here, I have two different kind of uh, scissors. Usually this is the only kind for suture remover uh, because it has like a little tongue under when we put this under the uh, suture, it makes it easy to cut it and kind of uh, helps the not hurting a patient as well. I always bring another one for me just in case that I'm not being able to cut the suture with this one, then I have one, another one ready. And then of course the forceps. So the important thing in here is that anytime that we wanna put sutures out, we want to make sure that we get closest, when we cut it, we wanna make sure to cl cut closest to the body. And the reason that we want to do that is as we're taking the suture out, it's going to go inside the skin. And then there's any infection or anything in there, we don't want to bring that inside the skin. So we're going to hold from the knot here in the middle. We start in the middle. So we're going to hold from the knot and the goal is again to going to be cut as close as we can to the patient's skin. So this scissor is really good for that because that's going to go under and that's not going to hurt the patient. So I'm grabbing on the knot, a good grip in here, and I'm going to get as close as I can. If you push a little bit gently, this is not going to hurt. This is not sharp or anything. So if you push a little bit gently down on patient, it's not going to hurt them. So again, click in here and then we're going to get as close as we can to the skin and cut it and as I'm come to I'm about to bring the uh, suture out I'm going to go away from the patient body so we're not again bringing anything inside her body and as I'm taking them out I'm going to keep it right next to me for the documentation purposes and now we're going to go ahead and rotate from one and another same thing in here you can grab on the knot and cut it sometimes you can have some sutures will be a little bit harder to um, cut. So if you are having some scabbing over it, what you can do is get a little bit of warm water and put that on patient uh, body uh, and they to let it soak and then you can go from there. The reason that we rotate from, we start from the middle and we rotate is just in case the area did not heal up very well, then we wanna make sure that we stop what we're doing and we confirm with our provider and then go from there. As a medical assistant, we are not allowed to do uh, sutures or staples removing until the provider confirms it. So we want to make sure the provider sees them first and then we can go ahead and take them out um, after asking the appropriate questions. So now I got eight of them out. 
and I'm gonna count them again, making sure I have all of them in here. And this is the reason I have them next to me, just in case I forgot to count them before I take them out. And now that I know there is eight, two, four, six, eight, we can go ahead and document it. So my observation prior to removing was that uh, her provider sutures were out of suture were taking off from patient arm right left where each ever uh, you took it out from uh, per provider eight sutures were out from patient's arm uh, you can also say in here that eight out of 15 sutures were out and the reason is per patient uh, the rest of sutures came out as she was itching it or she was showering anything like that that she, whatever she told you you're going to say per provider uh, per patient i'm sorry per patient because it is not your word it's it's your patient's word so you want to make sure you document your patient's word and also uh the post observation was that there was no discharge no redness no swollen um it is okay for you to touch gently as well and see how is your patient feeling tenderness or anything you want for your documentation purposes and everything uh, is okay, then you can go ahead and document that the patient had uh, no questions. Is that right? Perfect. All right, great.